Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I have good news today. I got assigned a three-day trip. I believe I have a red eye today. I start at 6 p.m. and I do um, Houston to San Francisco, then San Francisco to Austin, Texas, and I get in at like 5 a.m. I think that's a red eye. So that's a first. Then I have 22 hours off, and then on my last day, I, I believe I have three legs and I end in Houston at like 1.30, so. We'll see what I end up doing in Austin. I just showered, I'm gonna make some breakfast. So I found some potatoes that I'm boiling, then I'm gonna probably put them in some egg and then add this in there. And I have some bread, but I don't know if you could hear it. It's like really hard. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna use this. It's, it's trash. I don't know what I made, but I just put stuff together that I enjoy eating. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but it's sprinkling out here in Houston. But yeah, hopefully the weather doesn't get too bad. That way we were able to leave out of Houston and we'll see how awesome the weather is. Uh, I think I was checking it and it was at like 70 in the 70s. So hopefully it doesn't rain so that way I can go out and do something. So we'll see what happens. It is such a beautiful morning, but we're gonna go ahead and fall asleep. But just look at this little sunrise. That looks really nice. <sighs> Today was quite the day. I mean, the sun's already about to be out. Matter of fact, it's already out and I haven't even gone to bed. <laughs> it was freezing when we got here to Austin, but as you could tell, I packed pretty good. So I was, you know, I stayed warm. It was my first time working the 777 today and it was quite the challenge. I was working the forward galley and I was working the Polaris area. It was tough. It was tough. Just trying to get kind of like, just trying to get the flow going was a little bit rough, especially because there was turbulence. So it, it cut into like our time for our service. Besides that, I don't know what it was that like, like in retrospect, now that I'm thinking about it, it shouldn't have been that hard because, you know, I've done the 737 and the 737 service. It's kind of the same thing as the 777. The difference is just the seats and how many seats there are. The Polaris cabin is much bigger than our, um, the 737 kind of like first class section so but I, in the moment it's just like you're trying to you're trying to figure out like the whole galley and you're trying to figure out where everything's at and you're trying to set yourself up and it's kind of like a new environment i was just kind of like stressing out <laughs> trying to kind of like adapt myself to like the new aircraft slowed me down because then i flew on the 737 after the 777 and i i, I did perfectly fine on the 737 it was a very like red eye flight so on the 737 everyone was kind of sleeping but on that 777 i feel like i feel like it's it was just the fact that it was like just a new plane and, and then we started doing things differently now uh we're handing out um some like hot towels and then our menu for the food is different i don't know <laughs> it just messed with me and i was just feeling so stressed out it was fun working the 777 now I know how it's like. I'm more exhausted than anything. I mean, like I said, it's already about to be 7 a.m. Yeah, it's about to be 7 a.m. So I think I'm gonna get some rest and then hopefully tomorrow after I sleep, we could go head out and see what there is around. Good afternoon, everyone. It's already four something, so I'm all ready. I ate some breakfast. I had some, so I guess some, some little fruit and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna head downtown, see what Austin has to offer. And I brought my camera today, so I'm gonna try and you know get some pictures, like get some like little shots, see see what the city looks like under this little camera. And yeah, tag along. We'll see what Austin has to offer. I came to this little spot. I'm a little wrap. Not too bad. All right, here goes nothing. This is bomb. 
So again, a little walk in the city is alive today. Uh, I mean, it's Friday. I completely forget uh, my days. Sometimes I just don't even know what the heck's going on. But um, yeah, check out the city. live and I'm debating whether to get this bike they already said yes so I think we might do it <laughs> we got the bike and then we're gonna head down the street see what there is it's really active today it is Friday so so I'm going uphill on the bike I'm exhausted we already went like uh, we went all the way down there but we ran out of city to see, so we're coming back this way. Look at the buildings. I am tired. <laughs> Isn't it so nice, the lights? The lights look so nice. There's this guy. Dude, these cars don't care. They don't care. They don't care. That was a very long little trip. It was well worth it though. That was fun. I think I'm gonna walk down a little bit and get some, some clips and then we're gonna call it a day and go back to the hotel room. Let's go see. Let's go walk around a little bit. I'm so I'm not I'm not tired, I'm awake now. Guys, do you guys hear those birds? Listen to them. They're so loud, what the heck? Anyways, I had fun riding the bike. You know, I was live hanging out with y'all, so I appreciate every one of you guys that made it out to the live. Check out the description. Oh, wow, they're loud. That guy was like shining a laser up in the trees and like hitting, uh, he had like this thing where he kind of like hit it and it'll make like a noise. And I think that's for the birds because they won't shut up <laughs> since they're so loud. That's so weird, I've never seen that. Pickle. <laughs> my phone's gonna die. I just ordered a lift, but it's at one percent. So I'm hoping that it doesn't die before I get the information of my driver. I'm stupid because I chose the the cheapest option, which is like a 10 minute wait, and so it's waiting like four more minutes before it assigns me a driver. So I'm hoping my phone doesn't die. If it does, then I'm screwed, and I don't know how I'm gonna get home. But what I'm thinking is that if it does die, I could use the camera as like hey could you help me out <laughs> and it's like if someone comes up to you with the camera recording themselves asking for help it's like nowadays you'll trust them a little bit more right so maybe i don't have to do that but if i have to i'm gonna try and do that and then ask someone to like get me like a lift and i'll shoot them some money afterwards with like a zell or something i don't know Ugh. i really hope i don't get stuck like that i need to get home asap because i gotta be up by 3 a.m i'm so dumb i didn't think about it today thanks to everyone that made it out this far and to everyone that watched it's been a blessing i appreciate you guys 
And yeah, today was really fun. We got to ride a bike. I went live on YouTube and we just got to walk around the city and that was that was a lot of fun. You know, the, the city is definitely alive. So come and check out Austin whenever you guys have the chance. And yeah, as always, make sure to check out the description. Um, you'll find my Discord, my Instagram, and my TikTok. I'm gonna try and post a lot more on my Instagram and my TikTok. So make sure to check those out so that way you guys can keep up with me. And make sure to check the Discord out because we have a lot of other flight attendants and a lot of other travelers in that discord and we're always just chatting chatting up and just talking to each other and talking about our experiences so make sure to check that out you know if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like and if you guys have any questions or a comment leave it down in the comment section i'll definitely respond to your comments if you guys want to you know say hi or ask anything leave it in the comments and i will get to you guys so the camera ended up dying, but I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys and make sure to check out my latest videos if you guys want to see more. Make sure to check them out. And as always, I'll see you guys later.